Example 4. f of x is equal to, rent the condition x not equal to 0, x cube plus 3. When x is equal to 0, I have 1. So, I need to find if it is continuous at x is equal to 0. Up first step, and I need to find what my f of c is. So, what is my f of c when f c is equal to 0, c is equal to 0 and it is going to be simply 1. So, you have found out what your c is, f of c. Okay, now you have left hand limit and right hand limit, correct? Are in the condition. So, what is your left hand limit? Limit x tends to 0 minus of f of x. You see that the value is 0, correct? So, limit x tends to 0 minus of f of x is going to take the value limit x tends to 0 minus of x cube plus 3. If a value substitute pana na go, I'll have 0 cube plus 3, which is going to be 3. Okay, this is my left hand limit. If a right hand limit na, it is going to be a similar one. Limit x tends to 0 plus. Abdina it is not equal to 0, but any value which is not 0. Correct? Ha? So I have to take this function again. So I'll have x cube plus 3. When I substitute the value of 0, I'll again have 0 cube plus 3, which is equal to left hand limit is equal to right hand limit but this is not equal to f of c so one of the conditions is not satisfied which means the given function is not continuous okay all of simple you just have to check if it satisfies your conditions if not it is not continuous so what is your point of discontinuity x is equal to 0 so x is equal to 0 is the point of discontinuity okay point of this continuity. Okay. Now, moving on to example 5. Example 5, you have to find at which points the function is continuous. In that way, the point in Kudukula, but you have to find out at which point. f of x is equal to k and another, it is a constant. You do not have any x here. The function, given function is not dependent on x. Up first step, f of c is simply going to be k. For any value of c, it is going to be k. In that way, x you can put c here. You do not have any anything here. It, it is not dependent on the variable x. Correct? F of c is equal to k. Similarly, limit x tends to c of f of x is going to be limit x tends to c of k. Do you have anything that is dependent on x? The k is not dependent on x. I will take k outside the limit. What else is left? Nothing. Limit x tends to c of 1 and nothing. 1. So, this is going to be k into 1 which is k. So, what do you have? Limit x tends to c of f of x equals f of c for all values for all real numbers. So, the given function is continuous. f of x is continuous in the whole real plane. Is continuous in the whole real plane. For any real number, this is going to be true. Okay. So, this is continuous for all real numbers. If Mari, example 6, I have f of x is equal to x, you have to prove that it is continuous for all real numbers. Ide Mari, you have to prove. So, what is your first step? f of c is going to be c. For any value of c, this function is true. Correct? Ha? For 0, this is going to be true. C, for c is equal to 0, you have f of 0 is equal to 0. For any value which is c less than 0, this is going to be true. For c less than 0 or c greater than 0, you are going to have f of c is equal to c. Correct? So, it satisfies for any value. Adhe mari, limit x tends to c of f of x is going to be limit x tends to c of x. When you substitute the value, you are getting c. So, what do you see? f of c equals limit x tends to c of f of x, which means f of x is continuous for all in the symbol and for all real numbers. Okay. This is real numbers. Capital R. Okay. Example 8. You have to find the points at which the given function is continuous. If a first step in f of c is going to be c cube plus c square minus 1. For any value of c, this is going to be true. Correct. If a 0 put alo, it is going to satisfy the given function. Any value which is less than 0 or greater than 0, it is going to satisfy. Okay, what is the next step? Limit x tends to c of f of x, which is going to be limit x tends to c of what is your f of x? x cube plus x square minus 1. When you substitute x to the given function, you will have c cube plus c square minus 1. So, if in that, what do you see? Limit x tends to c 
of f of x is going to be f of c. This is the only condition that you have to remember. If you don't have any different conditions, it is simple. If you have two different conditions, you have to find your left hand limit and the right hand limit. Okay, that is the difference. So, this is the given either. So, f of x is continuous for all real numbers. This is true, correct? If you are going to put the value of 0 here, you will get a minus 1. Value of 0 here, you are going to get minus 1. Correct? So, render limit to it is going to be always equal for all values of c for any real number on the number line. Okay? So, this is example 8. Example 9 and f of x is equal to 1 by x when x is not equal to 0. So, you have to prove this is conti continuous for the given function. So, what is your f of c? Your f of c is going to be 1 by c. 1 by c is true only when c is not equal to 0. What if it's equal to 0? In that play, we are going to learn something new. So, 1 by 0 is going to be infinity. Okay? And also, minus 1 by 0 is going to be minus infinity. These are the two things that is new to you. If a zero denominator, we have always learnt in your limits that it is not defined. Okay? But I have also taught you in class 11 that it is equal to infinity. Okay? So, this is something new that you are going to learn. But in the particular case, they have given the given, they have given the condition. So, in that case, C is the denominator because it is not defined. Now, what is limit x tends to C of f of x? This is going to be limit x tends to C of 1 by C. 1 by x Sorry, what is the f of x? 1 by x. When I substitute the value of c, I will get 1 by c. f of c is equal to limit x tends to c of f of x. Which means f of x is continuous for all real numbers except 0. Correct? Except 0, it is true. So, in that limit, c is not equal to 0. So, this satisfies the given condition that is given in your question. Okay. So, example 10. In that the episode value when I put the 1. So, you have to check if this given function is continuous at 1. Upper you have to split the given question into 3 cases. Okay. You always have to do it when you have 2 different conditions. So, you have to prove if it is true for c equal to 1, c less than 1 and c greater than 1. So, these are your 3 different conditions. So, c equal to 1, what is your first step? You have f of c is equal to is equal x plus 2. So, it is going to be c plus 2. When f of 1, you will have 1 plus 2, which is 3. So, f of c is equal to Okay. Now, you have two different, two different conditions. Correct? So, you have to check your left hand limit and the right hand limit. So, x tends to 1 minus. This is my left hand limit. Minus na na left. Left hand limit of f of x is going to be limit x tends to 1 minus of in that like x less than or equal to 1 I will have the condition x plus 2. This is my function for the condition x less than or equal to 1. So, when I substitute the value of 1, I will have 1 plus 2 which is 3. Ipo, right hand limit. Limit x tends to 1 plus of f of x which is going to be limit x tends to 1 plus right hand limit la greater than 1. So, what is my function x minus 2. So, when I substitute the value, I will have 1 minus 2, which is going to be minus 1. What do you see? f of c is equal to the left hand limit, but it is not equal to the right hand limit. So, you have left hand limit not equal to the right hand limit. So, f of x is not continuous at 1. But what happens when c is less than 1 or c is greater than 1? In that thala, you have the number 1. You proved that it is not continuous at 1. Now, you have to check for all the points which are less than 1 and all the points which are greater than 1. Okay, that is what we are doing here. If you see less than 1, what do you have? f of c is going to be, whenever your c is less than 1, your x is going to be less than 1. What is your one and only condition? x plus 2. And in this case, it is going to be c plus 2. Correct? There will f of x is going to be x plus 2. So, your f of c is going to be c plus 2. If you have limit x tends to c of f of x is going to be limit x tends to c of f of x and the one and only condition x plus 2. So, when I substitute the value of c, I will have c plus 2. What do you see? f of c is equal to the limit. So, limit x tends to c of f of x equals f of c. So, f of x is continuous for all values where c is less than 1. At 1 is discontinuous. 
for less than 1 it is continuous similarly what is for greater than 1 what is the one and only condition c greater than 1 na x greater than 1 so it is going to be x minus 2 so what is going to be your f of c c minus 2 ipo limit substitute pannalama limit x tends to c of f of x what is my f of x limit x tends to c of x minus 2 c substitute panna c minus 2 what do you see the limit is equal to f of c so limit x tends to c of f of x equals f of c which means f of x is continuous at all values or i can simply write for all values so f is continuous for all values where c is greater than 1 so what is your one and only point of discontinuity point of discontinuity is 1 so except 1 everywhere it is continuous okay one is the point of discontinuity and that is continuous because you see that your left hand limit is not equal to the right hand limit even though it is equal to f of c okay